Okay, so this is a bike ride around my hometown. I did this super quick test. It's all uh, handheld from just a, a cage with a handle. But this is uh, on a GH2 without a speed booster and uh, I did this uh, reverse globular lens that I will uh, put the link in the description in the post and stuff. But um, basically I just took this regular Canon kit lens, uh, 35 to 80, like a junk plastic lens that I never use, and I took the front element out of it and I just swapped it around backwards. I mean, it's that simple. It's like super simple to do. It's not, you know, any kind of complicated engineering thing. You unscrew the thing and you flip it around and then you uh, put it back in backwards. Now it catches more light, like it is a 3.4 to 5.6, but um, I noticed when I was shooting with it that it certainly seems to be brighter. I ha had to stop it down later on. Um, actually, I didn't stop it down. I didn't have an ND filter, and it's not, it, you know, it's an AI, and I was shooting manual, um, so I reset like my shutter speed and all that. But basically, um, I just wanted you guys to be able to take a look at it and see kind of what it does. It reminds me of a tilt shift a little bit. Some of my focus is uh, soft in places. I mean, I strictly like, you know, I was going to coffee and decided to like take the lens out and shoot on the street a little bit. So it's nothing too fancy. Um, sometimes I missed, like in this shot, I missed my focus a little bit, but other places it's sharper. Um, so here you can see like riding around on this street here, uh, you know, the cars are like pretty tight and I wasn't even looking at it. I'm just holding it in my hand, uh, in the cage, but it has this kind of like interesting warp effect when you kind of pan and tilt with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, pretty simple, but, uh, it's kind of nice. There's some still shots coming up later that you... Uh, can kind of see like the the bokeh on it and how it sort of like uniformly warps everything uh, on both sides of the lens you get this center bubble so I saw the modification last week this guy posted it up this reverse globular uh, lens modification and I thought oh I have this junk old lens I'll try that out and see if it's anything that I'm interested in doing and so I kind of dig it um, so this is like, you know, once again, it's handheld, but it's kind of still uh, roadside POV. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, I definitely could see shooting some stuff with this. Uh, I'm a little soft on this shot again, but uh, you know, you can dial the focus in better. I thought I had it set to infinity or something. I wasn't really paying too much attention when I shot it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's a reverse globular lens. Like I said, this is a Canon 35 to 80. Um, it works actually the globular between like 35 to about 50 or 60 or so. And then um, past that, it's not really like as strong now. So I am adapting this down to micro four thirds. Um, and uh, I don't have a speed booster on it. So what you're seeing is just like not the full frame of the 35. Like here I'm shooting at about 35, as wide as it can go, which is my preference. Um, yeah, so super basic. You just swap the front element. All right, that's about the end of the video, guys. See you later.